Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is a CAT 2017 question and I am Prashant. I am the founder of Word Pandit. I will be explaining this RC question. Before you watch this video, make sure you've solved the RC passage and you've also gone through the passage analysis video for this particular passage. Let's get started with this question now. In this question, you need to identify which of these statements is not true. All of the following hold true for Vikings except you've got to identify the one statement that does not fit. That one statement here is option number A. Option A states Vikings brought reindeer from Norway to Denmark for trade purposes. Remember the passage at no point says they brought reindeer. Uh, what did they find at what did they find at those archaeological sites? They found combs. What were these combs made of? They were made of animal antlers. Which animal was this? This was reindeer, right? So that's the progression. They found combs and animal antlers, combs made out of animal antlers, which were in turn reindeers. They did not find reindeer remains. Hence, option number A is incorrect. Option number B, before becoming the raiders of Northern Europe, Vikings had trade relations with European nations. This is the main or the central idea of the passage. This is what the passage wishes to imply. Hence, it's correct. Option C and D can be factually derived from the passage. When he says, Antler combs regarded by the Vikings as a symbol of good health were part of the Viking culture. We derive this from the line such combs served as symbols of good health. Kegel right. So this is derived from the passage itself. Option D. Vikings once upon a time had trade relations with Denmark and Scandinavia. Again, the last paragraph states beyond Norway, these combs would have been part of popular industry in Scandinavia as well. It is possible that the antler combs represent a larger trade network where the Norsemen supplied raw material to craftsmen in Denmark and elsewhere. So option number D also finds a reference in the passage. C and D find references in the passage. Uh, option B is the main idea of the passage. Option A is factually incorrect. It is a represents a factual inaccuracy, a subtle change in what has been implied in the passage. Uh, this is how you arrive at the answer for this particular question. Hopefully so you're clear with the question now. Thank you very much for watching this video and as always, happy learning.